why I am really trading my Toyota Tacoma. <music> To Rob Motive. So this is why I am really trading my Toyota Tacoma. And it is going to happen. It is going to be traded. First of all, number one, new blood. I need some new blood for the channel. I need a new Toyota Tacoma for the channel, for myself. You know, it's time. I've had this truck now for about almost two years, coming up on two years in just a few months. And it's time for something different. It's because it's what I do, right? This is how I make a living. This is how I feed myself. And it's time to get something else to reinvigorate both me and the channel. Because let's face it, if I'm not invigorated, if I'm not excited, that comes through to you guys. And who wants to watch a zombie on a YouTube channel? Certainly not me. And I don't want to be that guy. New blood for the channel. Number two, the itch. The itch, I get the itch. You know, I've had, I don't know, 70 some new vehicles throughout my lifetime. There's a reason for that. It's because I get the itch. I want something new, something different. Now I realize that a new Toyota Tacoma isn't going to be drastically different than what I have already, right? But there are certain nuances certain things about getting a different truck, like the model, an automatic, a different trim level, all kinds of different things that you can get within the same model, even though Toyota hasn't made any drastic improvements. There are little things, you know, when I went to the 2020, there was the power adjustable seat, you know, the 10-way lumbar, all that stuff. There was the bigger radio screen, all kinds of just little things. And I'm curious, with a different trim level, what am I going to have compared to the TRD off-road that I currently have? I'm very excited to get into something else and start over, if you will. Add different things, different approaches. You know, as I have gone through this modding journey myself, I have discovered different ways to do things. So even if it's the same kind of mod, there are different ways, better ways, I hope better ways, to do things that I've done before. That excites me. It's something to look forward to doing. Next up, number three, different mods. As I mentioned, different approaches. There are different things that I want to try out. There are things that after I had done something, maybe even after living with them for a while, that I think, you know, I should have done that differently. Or maybe I should have just done something different altogether. Maybe a different brand, maybe a different style, different color, different application, all kinds of different things. I'll give you an example, the hood struts. You know, the first hood struts that I put on my Toyota Tacoma were the drill type. I had to worry about drilling up through the hood. I had to drill holes down below in the engine compartment. I wasn't really big on that. I didn't like that. I didn't know, and maybe they didn't exist at the time, that there was a different approach, a different mod that I could do, granted to accomplish the same thing, raising the hood, but without having to drill holes. That's something I would like to try on a new truck. Just something simple like that. Number four, it's a bridge. It'll be a bridge for me to the Gen 4 Tacoma. You know, I think since all the competition has shown up out there and the recent release of the new 2022 Toyota Tundra, that Toyota is accelerating the release of the next gen Tacoma a little bit, maybe by as much as even a year. I'm seeing spy shots of it out there. You know, those shots with the truck all dressed up with all that junk. Gotta say, some of the ones that I've seen, especially the front end, look pretty darn good. Now that's kind of surprising because one of the polarizing features of the new Tundra is the front end. I think what they're doing with it looks awesome on the Tacoma. That's assuming, of course, that the shots that I have seen are actually real. The rest of the truck, 
Eh, not so much, but it's covered up by all kinds of camo and stuff, so it's hard to say, but I am encouraged. And irregardless, unlike the Tundra, where I'm still kind of up in the air, I will be getting the next-gen Toyota Tacoma. So this truck will be a bridge. The replacement for my app, for my off-road, rather, will be a replacement, a bridge to the next generation Tacoma. Something to experiment with, play with, mod, do things a little bit differently until the next gen Toyota Tacoma comes out. Number five, I want an automatic again for a few reasons. Now, it's not that I hate the manual transmission in what I have right now, I'm not in love with it. I've mentioned that before. It's clunky, it's not refined, but it's still a manual transmission and it's still fun to drive. However, before the next gen comes out, I want to experience the current generation automatic again. You know, there's been a lot of talk out there about gear hunting. It can't decide where it wants to be. I want to experience that. I want to see if it's true. And then of course, I'm going to throw in the Sprint Booster. You know, I've talked about that in many videos on the channel. It's an awesome product. I want to see how it responds on an automatic. I want to see if it's just as good and brings the Tacoma to life in automatic form as it does with the manual transmission. The only way I can experience these things on a daily livable basis is to have one myself. You know, a pet peeve I have, a lot of the reviewers out there, they get on and they talk about trucks, you know, that they've had for maybe a day, maybe even a week. Do they really know what the truck is about? They can't. They're not living with it. They're not doing the daily stuff that you do when you actually own the truck. I want to experience that. I want to be able to provide real life information. Things that you do in the truck, the nuances, the bad things, the good things, the stuff that you can only know if you actually own the truck. And number six, why not? Why not? You know, it is a great time, probably the best in my lifetime, to trade in any truck, particularly the Toyota Tacoma. They're bringing in top dollar. There's a shortage going on. Everybody wants them. It's a great time to trade one in if you can find a replacement. And that is the key. You've got to be able to find a replacement. For me, not going to be such a big deal. I've already done some research and stuff. There are trucks out there, and by the way, if you're looking for a Tacoma, the way to get one is to go in, talk to your dealer, and snag one that they have on allocation. They're still putting out Tacomas. You can still get them. You can still get them for at least MSRP. Kind of hard to get them below right now because they are in such high demand, and let's face it, the dealership doesn't have to cut you a deal because there's probably 10 people or more right behind you with money in their hands that are waiting to buy that truck, at least at MSRP. But go in, talk to your dealer, grab one, put a deposit down on one, if you have to, that they actually have on allocation. It may not be exactly what you want because you have to kind of take what they already have in production. But still, there is a decent selection out there from what I have seen, and you'll at least be able to put your hands on something. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about why I am trading my Toyota Tacoma, why I am really trading my Toyota Tacoma. Those are the reasons. That's the scoop. There's nothing nefarious. There's nothing wrong with my truck. There's nothing hiding in the background. Well, there could be. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know. Leave a comment. Are you in the market? Are you having trouble? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra, and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay curious out there. Bye.